The next five and a half minutes of your life are going to be packed with really good art information. I'm going to teach you about a mixture of materials that will enable you to illustrate a butterfly that will like literally take off from the page and you're going to need to get a butterfly net. The pencil that I'm using right now is just a regular erasable colored pencil. I'm always trying new things and I've been looking at illustrators and basically uh, they use an illustration pencil which is usually blue uh, but the difference in color enables you to see things. For instance, um, I'm sketching in the shape and this isn't going to be my final uh, drawing. It's going to be my first guess at it. Um, that was a brown colored pencil that I used. Just a regular erasable colored pencil. And now, if you could see, I'm making changes to it with a regular colored pencil. And I could just look at the um, the wings and I could check to see, hmm, okay, was I symmetrical? Uh, and you know, it was so light that I can just, like, um, you know, erase, uh, I can move things. It's weird. It sounds like you can do that with a regular pencil, and you really can, but um, it, I don't know. There's something about the other color. It just enables you to see things that, uh, you know, a regular pencil will not. About the butterfly wings, um, I I'm going to do it in two parts so that you can see this process twice. Um, you know, but I just used a regular pencil there, and I, I made pretty much symmetrical sides to the butterfly. Now, what I'm using are opaque paint markers and illustration markers. And the ones with the colored caps, those are the opaque paint markers. Opaque meaning that you can't see through them. And the illustration markers, um, at least the Prismacolor ones, have a dual tip. Um, you know, it's got a very small tip almost like the edge of a pen uh, and it also has a chisel tip that allows you to color in bigger areas. So I kind of like that. Um, it allows me to vary what I'm drawing, um, you know, vary the tip and to get those spots in the wing it's very handy um, to be using that Prismacolor marker uh, and the fine tip side. Uh, but this is going to be the first layer of color and I was trained as a painter and we think in Refractions. Refra uh, refracted light is uh, light that goes through something uh, and bounces off something else. So we just created the bounce layer. Um, I know you're like, what? What are you talking about, Meryl? Don't worry, you're going to get this. Um, we're creating the bottom layer that the light is going to bounce off of. And I'm going to put something um, transparent to translucent on top of this with another material. You'll see. Just trust me. Um, so I'm repeating the process on the bottom. Um, I did the, uh, of course, sketch with the um, the colored pencil first, the erasable colored pencil, then the regular pencil. Now I'm adding the color, and um, you know I'm using the uh, you know the, the varied tips of the Prismacolor, uh, you know, to get the black part, um, and the Ed Chart Pack. Those are great for just uh, they're loaded with color. Um, they're great for just, uh, you know, covering areas. Now, here's where the refraction takes place. That's like my favorite art word, refraction. Such a cool word. But basically, I'm putting a layer of colored pencil over uh, the uh, layer of marker. And the color of the colored pencil is slightly different. And because you can see through it, you're seeing the marker layer and you're seeing the colored pencil layer. And it makes the color more interesting. The light is refracting through the colored pencil layer and it gives it more depth and I'm not done yet you might have noticed that the title of this section is uh, oil paint I'm going to finish it with oil paint because um, colored pencil has pigment in it just like oil paint it's got a slightly different binder one that enables it to be used as a stick uh, with a point but um, you know essentially the color is made of the same thing it's made of pigment um, and what I like about colored pencil is you can mix it on the surface. Um, you could move it around. Now, when I get to the um, when I get to the paint part, which you're going to see me start in a second, um, it allows me to kind of like smooth out um, the uh, the colored pencil because it it kind of gets a little bit choppy, or it could. Um, and just the brush and the medium that I use, which is liquin. Um, painters know liquin. You know, it just it smooths everything out. So it creates almost like a double refraction. And um, 
you know, you'll see the transition in the next, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, um, you know, and it makes a huge difference. Um, you're going to see the finished I image and tell you what, if you learned something, if you think this is a cool technique, uh, hit that subscribe button in the upper uh, left. And uh, yeah, I hope you try it. If you do, uh, be sure to post it as a video response to this video. Um, yeah, I would love to see that and comment on that. So, um, almost done with this, just putting on the finishing touches. And there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video.